Hey, you welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about Mullen Automotive, ticker symbol M-U-L-N, and in this video we will be dissecting and analyzing two articles. The first one is titled, Five Investors Betting Big on Mullen Stock in 2023, and then after that we will be analyzing an article titled, The Time to Buy M-U-L-N Stock is Now. Of course, we'll be going over the latest news updates, price predictions, price targets, as well as the latest news updates. So for more videos on Mullen Automotive, remember to go and smash that like button right now, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe if you are new, and without further ado, let's jump right into today's stories. Mullen Automotive is an electric vehicle manufacturer whose share price currently trades for around 40 cents, but many investors believe a short squeeze could happen to this company, which could send its overall stock price to over $1 per share, which clearly would be quick returns and quick money for investors. However, in this video, we will be dissecting why so many mainstream investors are investing into this particular company, as well as what I think of this company if you aren't already familiar. Mullen Automotive is the focus of multiple investors right now pertaining to multiple catalysts coming up for this company to where many investors believe the share price could surge. The first development is that Mullen is expected to report its Form 10-K annual report on January 13th. Originally, the deadline for them to deliver a Form 10-K form, but Mullen received a 15-day grace period, and they will be releasing that on January 13th, and this is going to give us great insights to the company. After that, the company is also planning to have a special meeting for their shareholders on January 19th where at the meeting, the votes for several different proposals will be disclosed, such as a reverse stock split to increase their overall amount of authorized common stock from just $1.75 billion to $5 billion. And honestly, I don't think this reverse stock split is going to do much, and if it ends up going through, which I think it will go through, the share price probably will just fall back down to a penny stock once again. But then again, this company has the potential to make something of itself in the future. Meanwhile, what's getting investors very excited is that a satellite picture of Mullen's manufacturing facility is making the rounds over on social media. However, very savvy investors have realized that, that this photo was taken back in July of 2022. Here are some quick images of what investors are seeing for Mullen Automotive's facility. And there is about three photos, so clearly there is a lot of vehicles all lined up around this facility, so eventually these vehicles could make it to the overall market, which has invigorated overall investors. However, with that being said, investors should not take this as a new development because these photos were taken back in July of 2022. But now let's dive into why investors are so excited about this stock and what major investors are backing this company. It's very important to track institutional ownership for a company because it shows us how many well-known institutions and or smart money is betting on this particular company. So let's dive into Mullen's top five shareholders. The first two who own collectively over 111 million shares, I'm honestly going to skip considering that they are not as prominent as the fourth and fifth majority shareholder of this company, which would be BlackRock and Vanguard. And that's the main reason why investors are so bullish on this company. BlackRock and Vanguard are both extremely prestigious financial institutions that make very good investment decisions, which is why investors are so excited about this. However, I would say we don't know these are long-term positions. Honestly, BlackRock and Vanguard may just be waiting for a short squeeze or the opportunity to trade this company. BlackRock recently purchased around 18.41 million shares in quarter three to where now they total around 26.29 million shares. On the other hand, Vanguard purchased around 9.88 million shares during quarter three to where now they have 22.6 million shares. But again, we're not sure what these companies plan to do with this. Honestly, I don't think these are long-term positions. They probably are just waiting for a good opportunity to trade off of this company and sell it if the stock price potentially surges so they can make a quick buck. But I don't think these are long-term investments, but I definitely could be wrong on that. That's just my personal opinion. The number three shareholder is actually the CEO of Bollinger Motors, which is a company that Mullen Automotive acquired. And that's actually somewhat concerning because to see a singular shareholder own this many shares and not an institution, A, means he has a lot of power, and B, it's just odd 
and I bet he already has the things filed to when he's going to sell these shares. But again, that is speculation on my part. I am not necessarily very bullish on Mullen Automotive. I just report on it because people want to know my honest opinion on the company. And as of right now, the company is too speculative for me personally. Now, I would invest into this company if the company becomes profitable or if they really start to deliver their various electric vehicles and we see high production numbers and higher delivery numbers on top of a plan for management to get them out of debt that they're carrying right now. And once they do that, I I would be more than happy to invest a lot of money into this particular company, but I will not invest right now. I would rather wait for this company to prove themselves. In the next article, we have an author that believes that right now is the best time to buy Mullen Automotive, and we'll discuss why that is. The author says that it's not every day that he goes full on bullish with a penny stock. He says that Mullen Automotive is highly anticipated for their overall production of the Mullen 5 vehicle and their upcoming distribution of Mullen's preferred shares, which we talked about in a previous video. The author also says that we shouldn't get him wrong that the EV stock, particularly an electric vehicle startup penny stock, is extremely risky, and I agree with him on that front. There are no guarantees of profit here. In my personal opinion, you probably shouldn't allocate more than a 1% allocation for this company, even if you just wanted to dip your toe in. The main reason this author is so excited about this company is because there are two large catalysts coming up, one on January 24th and the other on February 24th of 2023, where they will issue preferred shares. Mullen is set to honor a securities purchase agreement for preferred shares, which is going to total around $90 million. But that's not the only reason why he's bullish on this particular company. He actually says that Mullen's preferred shares will likely be a notable event, however, it shouldn't be the main reason to invest into this overall company. Rather, he believes that their Mullen 5 electric vehicle will gain traction among electric vehicle drivers and owners, and he says this could happen between 2023 and 2024. So Mullen Automotive investors need to be ready and patient, as well as weigh the risk to reward here. But overall, again, I would not say that this is a company that I would advocate for, but I would to hear your comments down below on that. So with that being said, remember to go and smash that like button for more news updates on Mullen stock. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next YT video.